Okay, peace and shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your boy Decoy again, uh, back with another video. I had a friend on YouTube who had an issue with a couple Mormons that kept, you know, harassing him, being on nasty with him, as far as uh, the Mormon belief, the Mormon Church of Latter-day Saints, you know, Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints, and their belief system. And one of the issues that kind of caught my attention was the fact that the Mormons believe that black people or people of color, the reason why they have color being black is because of the curse. They believe black skin, you know, skin is a curse. So I wanted to dispel that real quick using the Bible and a dictionary. So anybody out there who is Mormon and you do believe that this is common sense proof. Um, the first thing I'm going to go to is the book of Genesis. Where we have the first account of, well mainly because of Cain. They believe Cain, his mark was having black skin. They believe the curse of Cain was black skin. So we're going to go to the book of Genesis and we're going to read about that. Um, we are going to go to the book of Genesis chapter 11. No, chapter 4, verse 11. And it says, And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood and from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto her good strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall you be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Now, he talks about after that that he'll be cast out on the earth and anybody that finds him will kill him. Well, clearly, in chapter 4, verse 11, it tells you what the curse was. He didn't curse him with a certain skin color or black skin at all. Chapter 11 clearly says, And now art thou cursed from the earth. Not his skin turning black, he's cursed from the earth. And it says, Which have opened her mouth to receive your brother's blood. So when he slayed Abel and he spilled his blood on the earth, Abel's blood on the earth was cursed for Cain. So now he has to work hard and no food or fruit will come from the earth when he tries to plant. It says right here, verse 12, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength or food, because he spilled his brother's blood. And if you can't understand that, you know, it's common sense. It's right there in the Bible. You're stupid. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. 